when you focus on the breath, it teaches you a good lesson. You can't hold on to your last breath. A new breath comes, you let go of the old one. Each breath comes, you stay with it, but then when it's gone, you let it go. This, is teaches, <clears throat> this teaches you a lesson about life. A lot of things come your way, and if you try to hold on to them, you can't meet up with the good things that come your way. And even the good things that come your way, if you hold on to them too much, okay, they turn bad. And John Lee's image is of plowing a field. A lot of people live as if they had to put a bag next to the plow, and as soon as the dirt came off the plow, they would put it in the bag. Of course, they get weighed down, can't go very far. They're holding on to old grudges, holding on to old memories of this wrong or that wound or whatever. You've just got to let it go. Don't weigh yourself down. This is not to deny, to deny that there are bad things in the world. There are. But if you keep stabbing yourself with them, if you keep weighing yourself down with them, who are you going to blame? It's from your own lack of skill that you're suffering. That was the Buddha's basic message. He said, we suffer from avicca, which can be translated as ignorance, but also be translated as lack of skill. We don't know how to deal with the sufferings that come our way, the pains that come our way, and we end up making the mind suffer a lot more than it has to. The Buddha's image is of shooting yourself with arrows. You get shot by one arrow, but then you shoot yourself with a few more arrows. The pain of one arrow is bad enough, but then the extra arrows, those are the ones that really weigh you make it hard to live. So look at the way the mind is shooting itself, weighing itself down, and learn to let go. Take the lesson from the breath. Once the new breath comes in, the old breath is gone. You may have learned some good lessons from the old breath, and you hold on to those, but you don't hold on to the breath. In other words, the lessons are how to stay focused, how to breathe in a way that's comfortable, how to live in an imperfect world and yet not suffer from it. So take lessons from the breath, and you'll find that life is a lot easier.